uh, spot on on that. Uh, no one loves making beautiful objects uh, more than I do. And I love making uh, beautiful objects and doing beautiful things that are just uh, an expression of beauty in the world, okay? But, but that's not it. You know, I, there's also, and this is just me, I can't speak for every other artist, okay? But this is just me, and if people ask me about my artistic philosophy, I'm more than happy to express what I say about me, and that's not the way that everyone has to go about doing their, doing their artwork. But for me, it's important, I almost feel like it's an obligation that when you're surrounded by these types of technologies that we are exposed to in ATEC, that we have to consider the human a humanistic aspects of those technologies and how those technologies can be used as tools to talk about things that are happening in the broader culture and the broader society in which we live. Some of the folks on the EMAC side of the house, they may be doing studies on media and gender and things like that. But for me, I want to express artistic ideas that make people think, you know, and that make people question, that make people see, that open their eyes to seeing things. And sometimes if you can use the technology as, as sort of like the seductive medium with which to draw them into those narrative stories and those things that you want to say, uh, it's even better. So for me, yes, it's really important that my artwork and what I do, uh, even sculpturally, uh, speaks to much uh, broader, broader issues, broader social and cultural issues.